Hey guys, it's Andrew Henderson from Nomad Capitalist. I'm here in uh, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And there is a new citizenship program just came out. I want to tell you all about it. Uh, this new program for getting a second passport is in Turkey. And uh, there are going to be four ways to get a Turkish passport. So I want to tell you uh, what those four ways are, what I think about the program, and uh, what I think is going to happen. What is interesting is that uh, for about three years now, I've been saying and predicting that you'd have more of these citizenship by investment programs, not just as countries dealt with uh, the recession in past years and stuff like that, but as countries deal with their own internal issues. And that's what's happening in Turkey. I also said that you're going to see prices uh, come in at higher and higher price points, at least at entry level, and, and that's what's happened in Turkey. Uh, it's a price point that is rather high uh, and a little bit surprising, quite frankly, for me, especially as other countries like in the Caribbean are actually lowering their donation. But what's happening with Turkey is a little bit interesting because all these new programs that are coming out in recent years, many of them are trying to put their own unique spin on what you have to do. Now, Turkey's not so much doing that. They're just giving you a lot of options. But a lot of other countries have put their unique spin on things as a way to justify uh, their programs and it's really stretching what is citizenship by investment for example in Malta you gotta live there uh, whether on paper or whatever else for a year uh, Cyprus is now looking at introducing that so you know it's it's beginning to to really muddy the waters of what is buying a passport mean does buying a passport mean you just exchange money and it's done right away or do you have to wait are there certain restrictions there are gonna be some restrictions in Turkey so let's go through how that's gonna work because I wouldn't call this a traditional citizenship by investment program in the way that we've known for many years in the Caribbean. The four ways to get Turkish citizenship through investment are, uh, number one, put a million bucks into property, into the real estate market. Uh, pretty common. Uh, there hasn't been formal word about this, but uh, it just appears to be pretty much any property, so it'll be a feeding frenzy. Um, number two, two million dollars in fixed capital investment. $3 million in a Turkish bank, three-year uh, term or longer, uh, or create 100 jobs. So uh, what do I think about this? I think that uh, anyone who is going to be doing a citizenship by investment program, uh, which if we look at people who have been doing residence permits in Turkey, with the exception of Russians, it is almost entirely oil-rich Gulf nationals, uh, such as Saudis, uh, Bahrainis, I guess Iraqis, not really the Gulf, but... Um, it's folks from those countries. And I've been saying for years that Turkey is kind of a safe haven for folks from less moderate Muslim countries. Um, I, I backed off of Turkey as being a safe haven in the last, the last 18 months. Uh, but certainly to some of those folks, if you're in Iraq, if you're in Saudi, it may seem like a safe haven to you. Those are the folks who are primarily going to do this. And they're not going to put $3 million in a Turkish bank. Uh, I don't see that happening. Uh, when you can put one third of the money in property, and enjoy the use of it over the three years. So no one's doing the bank. I don't think anyone's hiring like 100 employees. Um, and so I think that this is a way to prop up the real estate market. Real estate is a huge part of the Turkish economy. There are developers all over the place. You've got an oversupply issue and it's creating a pinch. And especially as the lira is like at, at cataclysmic levels right now, it is dropping like a stone. Um, I think that this is kind of a gift to the real estate industry to prop up sales. So a million dollars, that's what you're going to see. My first thought when I heard about this program, though, was this is like the Spain golden visa program over uh, again. So during the housing recession, Spain and Portugal both came out with visa programs where you could get a passport by buying real estate, uh, 500,000 euros. Portugal made theirs relatively reasonable. Spain made it basically a spit in the face. And even the lawyers who offer the program don't recommend it in Spain. It's so horrible. I mean, there's just no reason for it. It's basically, if you were going to be buying property anyway, you might as well sign up and in 14 years or whatever, you can have your passport. And that's kind of what I think in Turkey. If you want a passport by creating jobs, um, you'll go to other countries that have better travel that you can create far fewer jobs and get a passport faster. If you want to buy real estate, um, you'll put half the money in Portugal and wait it out a little bit longer, but to get a much better passport. Or you'll go to the Caribbean and spend much less and get a passport right away. Again, a better passport. Um, 
I think it's at first blush it seems to make a passport that only people who are already doing these things are going to get. If you're already buying property in Turkey, i.e. if you're in Iraqi, for example, and you're already buying property there, okay, great, I get a, a passport thrown in. Fantastic, it solidifies my decision. I don't see any Americans rushing to spend, you know, a million dollars at, again, with, with the lira now at low levels, to put a million dollars into real estate. I, I really don't see that, especially with the conditions that are in the country right now. I love Turkey as a place to visit. I was cautiously bullish, like I said, up until about two years ago. It's no longer the case. But the surprising thing to me about this passport program is just merely the fact that they have a B minus, maybe C plus, but probably a solid B minus passport. You can't go to Europe. Um, you can't go to the U.S. You can't go to Canada. You can go to the Western Balkans. You can go to Thailand, uh, South Korea, Japan, Mexico, and Central America. Those are historically tough. But that's basically the deal. Um, you know, you could go to a Macedonia. You could go to other countries that are in, this, in a similar position as Turkey, but have better passports, have better potential to be in the EU, already have the ability to go to the Schengen area. Quite frankly, I don't see the benefit, um, and I don't really see how this competes well, even with the Russian passport program. So if you're from the West, this is, I think, one that you can safely sit out. Um, I, I recommend that everyone visit Istanbul. Uh, don't believe the hype. Obviously, there have been some problems there. Uh, I go there frequently. It's a fantastic city, so I recommend you visit. Uh, but if you are a Western passport holder, I would say that the Turkish Citizenship by Investment Program is one that you can safely sit on the sidelines for. Better options. I'm kind of confused even why they're doing this. I think it's just kind of sweetening the pot for real estate people to do the deals they're already doing. So if you weren't planning on putting a million bucks into a flat at Istanbul, uh, no need to change anything on this one.